Welcome to This or That video series, produced by UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County. This series helps citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Pinellas County is home to several species of hawks. Two of our most common hawks are the red-shouldered and the red-tailed hawks, but can you tell them apart? Here are a few tips to help you the next time you see them. The easiest way to tell the difference between these two is to watch these hawks in flight. The red-shouldered hawk has pale windows near the tip of its wings. These windows look like white squares or stripes. In this picture here, you can see them clearly. Also, the red shoulder hawk's tail is long with broad stripes. The red-tailed hawk, in comparison, lacks the wing windows and has a fanned out solid red tail. See how easy it is? Also when perched, notice the red shouldered hawk's evenly reddish breast feathers with white bars, making it have a wavy appearance while the red-tailed hawks have a mostly white with brown mottling around the middle breast feathers. Both of these hawks may be seen perching on power lines. Notice their upright posture compared to the other large birds, like the osprey. Also, if you were to look at these hawks in comparison, the red-shouldered hawk would be smaller than the red-tailed hawk. So remember, if you want to tell these hawks apart, watch them fly. The red-shouldered hawk has pale windows on its wings, and the red-tailed hawk's tail is, well, red, contrasting from the red shoulder hawk's long, striped tail. It should be noted these comparisons are based on mature adults. Color patterns may vary in juveniles of both species, and there are light and dark morphs of the red-tailed hawk, which can make identification tricky. We encourage you to explore the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, all about bird sight, to learn more about these hawk species. So the next time you think you see a red-shouldered hawk, take a closer look, as it may be a red-tailed hawk. Thank you for joining us, and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County Office.